Governor Cuomo is facing new sexual harassment allegations, this time from a woman who says the governor kissed her without her consent in her home in front of her family. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer has the story. She is Governor Cuomo's latest accuser, 55-year-old Sherry Ville, kissed by the state's chief executive when he came to her home to assess flood damage. I was holding my small dog in my arms, and I thought he was going to pet my dog, but instead he wedged his face between the dog and mine and kissed me on the other cheek in what I felt was highly sexual manner. But I knew I felt embarrassed and weird about his kissing me. The incident happened in May 2017. The woman's daughter posted a picture of the kiss on social media. Attorney Gloria Alward also showing pictures of the governor's visit in the woman's home, including one autographed by the governor that was sent to Ville along with a letter commemorating the visit. I felt as though he was coming on to me in my own home. The sexual harassment issue is not just about an employer to employees. Sherry was not an employee. And I think that all New York residents should also be treated with dignity and respect. In addition to Sherryville, there are at least eight other women who have accused the governor of sexual harassment or inappropriate behavior. Earlier in the month, Cuomo apologized. I never touched anyone inappropriately. You can go find hundreds of pictures of me uh, kissing people. It is my usual and customary way of greeting. But Gloria Allred doesn't buy that, saying that whenever she kisses or hugs anyone, even a child, she asks permission. I don't have any right to hug you unless you say it's okay. At this point, Bill is not pressing charges, but she wants to tell her story to the Attorney General's investigators. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News.